what are we going to get into today? Well, I had a friend of mine, he had some chocolate brownie moonshine. And he wanted me to see if I could make some. So, I ended up getting some ideas from Phil Belly. He sure helped me out a lot. So what we're going to try to do is chocolate jello and some brownie mix. And we're going to see if we can make some, okay? But first things first, welcome to Stewart's and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel all about home distillation and brewing. All right. So what I have here is some, I, I had to dilute it down, proof it down to 40 proof, proof, all right? It's like three cups worth, okay. So, first things first, what we need to do is we're gonna use some uh, chocolate jello. And we're gonna put that in there. And what I'm gonna do, this might take me two days. Well, it'd be one day for you, but two days for me. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna add in, first I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of the Jello mix. I mean, that's gonna be a start. I'm gonna say, th let's, let's say three. Three of the Jello mix. All right, now, to give it that brownie taste, if I can open the box. Is I'm going to use some brownie mix. I'll mix it, all right. So I did three of the jello, let's do two of the brownie mix. One, two. All right, let me just give that a good shake. Beautiful color. Smells like chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. That's gonna be close. Now the only thing I am concerned with, and that's why I'm gonna stop right here where I'm at. What I am concerned with is how thick. I don't want it, uh, I don't want it super thick. I just want it a little bit thick. Um, I don't want it like milk shake thick. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, cause I think it will get thicker as it gets colder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm gonna put it into the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it get cold. And I'm gonna come back tomorrow. And then uh, we will try this out again. And if I gotta add a little bit more too, then we're gonna come up with a recipe that is going to be fantastic. But let me write this down so I don't forget because uh, it, it, it would be easy to forget. Okay, so what I did was I did three of the jello, right? Three of the jello and two of the brownie, right? All right, so let's come back tomorrow and we will check this out, okay? So welcome back. Uh, we're gonna finish up this chocolate moonshine. Uh, we did adjust the, uh, I did, like I said before, I put it in the refrigerator, got it good and cold. Uh, Cause what I was looking for is, I didn't want thick like a milkshake, 
but I wanted a, just a little bit more thicker, a little bit more mouthfeel than say YooHoo. I hope you know probably everybody's had YooHoo chocolate drink, uh, and but I wanted a little bit richer. So the final recipe I ended up with. So if you take one quart of 40 proof shine, right? Uh, add four tablespoons of the Jello uh, pudding mix. All right. Add four tablespoons of that, and then and after that, add four tablespoons of your favorite brownie mix. Without nuts, well, I guess you could have nuts if you wanted, but without you know your favorite brownie mix. Four tablespoons of that. Mix it up with the uh, to shine. Give it a good shake. Now you will find that after it's been in the refrigerator for a day, it will you will have stuff settle out, and that happens to a lot of different shines. Uh, you, you got some uh, whatever it is, and it will settle to the bottom. But uh, a lot of times, I'm such a habit before I. Pour me a drink of anything, apple pie or pumpkin pie or whatever. I'm always giving it a good shake before I serve it. Okay, so let's give this a try. It's nice and cold. Uh, I mean, it smells like chocolate. Oh, uh, smells like rich. Is it chocolate or is it brownie? I, it smells like a brownie. You know, good chocolate brownie. Let's give it a taste. Oh, 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 oh. That is fantastic. Uh, being uh, 40 proof, I, got, I can tell I got a good little taste of alcohol there. But you can really taste... It tastes like you're eating a brownie. Yeah. I guess you could just go with all the uh, the uh, pudding mix, but I think with the combination of both, this is fantastic. Mmm. That is fantastic. That is that is nice. That is really nice. The friend of mine that wanted this recipe. I will be making him a quart, and he will be happy. I think he'll be happy with that. It is very good. I was just wondering, could you put chocolate syrup in there? Eh, I don't know. I think it has enough chocolate taste. I mean, you can see. Uh, it's a nice chocolate-looking color, uh, and it tastes fantastic. All right. Well, there's another... Moonshine Wednesday. Uh, I'll tell you what, Moonshine Wednesday is just a whole lot of fun for me. Uh, I get to try all new things and uh, some things that I've never tried before. Uh, I do got some fall moonshines coming up. Uh, this was one I just had on the burners and I just need, I wanted to get it done. Uh, but I got some good fall ones coming up, and uh, one that I've, I've done them many times is apple pie. We will do apple pie for apple for uh, Moonshine Wednesdays, just cause. You gotta have apple pie around for the holidays, you know. But then I got some uh, pretty interesting ones coming out too that I think everybody's gonna like. Okay, so the very last thing I got to say is. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brood. Happy Moonshine Wednesdays! Damn. That ain't gonna last long at all. Gotta go make some more.